is a short presentation to discuss the retirement types and formulas for members of the police and firemen's retirement system. As with all of our presentations, this is simply meant to be a general overview. If you need more specific information, please contact our office or visit our website. The information in this presentation can be found on fact sheet number 19. Here are some terms. Years of service means obviously the number of years of service credit in your account. This includes time that you have worked as well as any time that you may have purchased. Final compensation means the salary upon which contributions were based in your final 12 months preceding retirement. This is typically your base pay. In some cases, it includes things like a longevity payment. Remember, this presentation is only for Tier 1 members because at this point, only Tier 1 members are eligible to retire. Although we do not see many police and fire members retire on a service retirement, there are two types of service retirement. The first one is available at age 55 with no minimum amount of service credit. So this means you could have nine years of service credit and for every year you would get 2% of your final compensation. So in this case you get 18% of your final compensation. There's also one that is available to any member at any age who has at least 20 or more years of service credit who were members of PFRS on January 18th of 2000. That was when a new law passed. That benefit is equal to 50% of the final compensation. However, keep in mind, there is no increase for working an extra year. It, it is 50% of the final compensation for age, for if you have 21 years, 22 years, 23 years, or 24 years. It does not change until you get to the special retirement, which as you will see, is 25 years. Here are some quick examples of the service retirement calculation. For someone who is 55 and had 12 years of service credit and a final compensation of $75,000, they would receive about $18,000 per year or about $1,500 per month. For a member who had 20 years and qualified for the 20 and out, with the same final compensation, they'd receive $37,500 per year or $3,125 per month. In the police and fireman's retirement system, there is a mandatory retirement age of 65. For someone who is age 65 and has at least 20 or more years of service credit, they'll receive 50% of the final compensation plus 3% of the final compensation for each year of service over 20 years and up to 25 years, as long as they were enrolled as of January 18th of 2000. Special retirement is the retirement that most police and fire members are going to retire on. This is available to anyone who, is, who, who has 25 years of service credit or more at any age. The annual benefit is 65% of the final compensation, plus an additional 1% for each year of service over 25 years, but not to exceed 30 years. So therefore, the maximum allowance is 70% of your final compensation. Here's a quick calculation to show you what a special retirement looks like. This is a member with 26 years of service, final compensation of $75,000. They'd receive $49,500 per year or $4,125 per month. There is also a deferred retirement available to members who have at least 10 years of service credit but are not yet age 55. It's the same annual benefit as a service retirement, 2% of final compensation for each year. However, you cannot collect this benefit until the first of the month after you have turned 55. You must file the application for retirement when you leave service. There is a survivor benefit payable upon the death of a retired police and fire member. This is covered much more in depth in our survivor options presentation. However, the surviving spouse or partner is eligible to receive, receive a benefit equal to 50% of your final compensation, and there is also benefits that are payable to any eligible children under the age of 18 in addition to the surviving spouse or partner. If you have more questions, you can visit our website, you can contact our office. Please see fact sheet number 19 for details on the retirement types. Thank you.